I still got to have some signatures before he actually gets the contract. But two of them are local, I think, and then it got sent to Germany and come and get his guy over there signed and come back. So he's very excited about this eight million dollar contract. And he's already ordered equipment. They gave him permission to go ahead and order a uh, pipe and all that kind of stuff. So things are looking good in that uh, respect. So maybe we're going to get our 100 jobs when we want to swear they were not. He's talking about hiring 50 a day shift, 50 a night shift. So as soon as he hires them and gets the 100 jobs, then we off the hook. That's what Jane said anyway. We off the hook. So that's good news. And he's so excited that he is going to get this, and I think he will by now, from what I saw. I, I read the letter. He's now talking about, again, about uh, extended stay motel, uh, uh, service station, Waffle House, uh, strip mall, and all that kind of good stuff. And so that leads me into the work session for the G1 sewer. We need to we need to have a work session, not at the commission meeting, but a work session. What are we going to do about the G1 sewer? Are we going to extend the pipe? Or are we going to uh, add more treatment facilities out there? And the pipe will handle anything that Mr. Gant uh, puts in and also anything that Mr. Gear puts in down the road with the pipe. But I'm not sure the treatment facility will. And so we need to talk about do we want to add some treatment facility or what? So that's what your work session needs, needs to be about. We need to have that ASAP, like Wednesday, if possible, if you want to do that. Uh, before we can do that, I think we need to get a, a better guesstimate on how much money we have left in that great grant. Well, we do, but I, I can get here and James to this meeting. Yeah, we, need, we need that information. They'll have that information if we get them, as soon as we can have it. I'd like to do it Wednesday. The sewer, whenever this was complete and everything, wasn't he going to turn it over to the board? Or the board? Yeah, we're going to talk about that in just a minute. Yeah. Okay, so we'll still be in charge of it till August the 31st. No, well, actually, the contract is September or something. Because we're supposed to do a flood by August the 31st, but September the 12th or 13th. Actual contractors. September 11th was the last day on the time. Okay. Boykin is essentially through all the gaps that's been tied together. I'm not sure if he's tied into uh, G1 command mechanical tank, and I'm not sure it's tied into the treatment facility, but I think it is. But that's the only two places it's not tied, if it's not tied there. Yeah, they, they pressure the line. Yeah, they, they, they pressure the line. It's good. It's good to go from one end to the other. When I was down there last week, they were putting up the control panel uh, for the treatment facility itself. So as soon as we can have a work session, we decide what we're going to do. We get Jerry and Jane to come to it and uh, give us how much money we got and what we need to do. I got one more thing to add to that. I know there's a, there's a worldwide contractor that's with us, G1, and do us some research, background checks on them, and they talk about this being a job to Here we are. Kellogg Brown, he, he mentioned the fact that he's working on a deal with him more work and uh, that would hire more people and so yeah. our 100 jobs looks like it's going to be pretty safe. They are. Yeah, the Silver Mobile Hawks had told me last week and they talked last night and they said that they've done a lot of background work on him and how he panned out. They thought they had some work with him. Yeah. He mentioned that. Didn't he? I forgot to say that. Uh, that's another thing that We need to do is talk with you. We can, what, what we can do is be a source 
of, yes. of that type labor for him for, for uh, programs that already exist. Well, I've been in some conversation with some other people in uh, <coughs> the. Uh, Judge, do you have contact information for him? Yes. Yeah. I'd like to get it before I go. Okay. He's in Jacksonville today, but he'll be back in Mobile tonight. Okay. I got to put him in Purgatory. Uh, you see him maybe buying a land down there? He, he mentioned that, and uh, as a matter of fact, he, we're not going to talk about it. We're not going to talk about it until October the 1st. But, uh, October the 27th. 27th? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we'll tell you why I don't think. But he, 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 he's. They don't want us to know. They don't want us to know. That's right. Ain't nothing going on with him. Okay. So, we're going to have a work session Wednesday. Yeah, at 10 o'clock. If that's the time, we'll go with y'all. Ashley, you and Miss Williams are invited. That's the 12th. Yeah. We need to do that this time. 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. Yeah. Judge, before y'all adjourn, do y'all want me to call Jamie and might y'all talk to him about that change order? Or? We just talked to him at least. Okay. Yeah. We can't make those. We can't, we can't do a resolution that we have to the next. Right. Y'all know what G1 stands for? Anybody know what G1 stands for? G1? You know what it stands for? Anybody? God first. That's what it stands for. That's good. That's very good. He's got a story.